A few days ago, we saw what happens when Mittens plays against Martin using only a queen, but today, we have this position. Mittens has 24 pawns and Martin has 23 queens. I don't think I could have made the odds easier for you Martin, so I hope you'll finally be able to beat the final boss. And by the way, for some reason, the evaluation bar goes crazy at the start of the game. So without further ado, let's jump into the game. The game starts with c5 by the cat. The first queen fork of the day. Martin responds with queen takes f4. Aha, his plan is probably to trade as many queens as possible, until only a few pawns remain so that they can be easily won by a queen or two. As always, too sophisticated for his own good. Mittens takes the queen on f4, and Martin moves his queen to h6. So he completely abandons his plan, after one move. Then, Mittens plays e3, Martin plays queen to g6, f5, queen to d5, h5, and queen to c6. Dude. Is someone going to take anything? Finally. I think you should sacrifice the queen for two pawns here. But the real question, what do you think Martin? Right. You don't. There was more than enough queens to recapture the pawn, but I guess it's okay to be careful. A bit too careful to be honest, but it's fine. Mittens takes the queen, then takes another one with a promotion, then finally, Martin takes back. Martin, did you challenge yourself to only take pawns after they get promoted to queens? Well, apparently not. Dude. I'm really struggling to understand what's going through your brain today. But anyway. Mittens plays h4, and Martin retreats a queen that was not attacked, instead of the one that's hanging. So, Mittens takes the queen, then takes another one, before he finally decides to take the pawn. It's only been a few moves and Martin has managed to lose 10 queens. And they're about to become 11. Maybe 12. Now he only has 11 queens. Which I'm afraid could be insufficient mating material for Martin, but on the other hand, the pawns are not advanced anymore, so I believe he'll be okay. Unless Mittens suddenly decides to use the ancient wisdom of hope chess. Wow. He actually took the pawn? So this means you'll take this one too. Right? Well at least he didn't wait until promotion. I don't think Mittens will take the queen, as it will open her king to dangerous attacks from the remaining queens. But unfortunately for Mittens, she doesn't know that she's facing a 250 rated opponent. Wow. He didn't only defend the queen, he also took a pawn for good measure. Very good Martin. Now the final boss of cats has no other choice but to use the ancient wisdom of hope chess. And she doesn't even take the queen. So, Martin defends one of his queens, and Mittens refuses to take a queen once more. Then, Martin takes a pawn, and Mittens refuses to take a queen for the third time. And then for the fourth time. And the fifth. And the sixth. Finally. And by the way, Martin is starting to infiltrate with his queens. I can't believe what I'm saying, but I think Martin has a big chance to win. And wow! He actually knows that pins exist. Whatever the result will be, I think this is already a W. Okay, now you only need to take the d-pawn, and then you can literally deliver checkmate by mistake. Well, surely on the next move. Okay. This loses another queen, but please tell me you see the mate in two. Alright, I guess you'll take the pawn first, but surely checkmate after? Dude. Don't tell me this is going to be just another draw. I gave you 23 queens Martin. Thank God. 
To be honest, I still have no idea if he can do it. He seems to be more focused on taking pawns at the moment. Wait wait what? He actually found the correct move. Is he finally gonna be able to do it? Well, I guess we have the answer. Martin, can beat Mittens, when he's up 183 points of material.